everyone this is Eric back again with all replay mo here at Enterprise rental car and I'm gonna see they got a link where you can actually get a discount for a car rental I just picked up this Toyota Corolla I'm gonna be coming up with a next video that talks about car ties is basically where you could get a wrap put on your car and they'll pay you a monthly you know deposit directly to your bank account for you know advertising on your car so it are even paying for this rental right here so i'm gonna go ahead get this rental for my wife she could take my daughter to school you know for a day and then i'm gonna go ahead and get the wrap so there'll be another video coming up for the wrap and it'll have all the information for that company so you guys should get paid to drive which is pretty cool so i'll do one video on this car right here you know and enterprise works good man i mean they got some good rates you know for like 50 60 70 100 dollars depends on the location and the type of car how long you're gonna be in the car for but they're very reasonable and the good thing about it they got an online app where you can actually do it you know what i mean from a in a sense you know what i mean so that's why i like it and they're simple you just call them and say hey i'm going to keep the car a little longer or they'll charge you by the hour it's reasonable it's not the cheapest in town but they are decent cars in a sense so um i'll catch y'all next one so i'm actually driving this probably shouldn't be recording but uh yeah it's a nice little comfy ride for i think this is a 2021 so it's like two years old it's a little dirty i called enterprise like usually they're pretty much cleaner i'll show some pictures probably up on the screen of the seat the pillar you know I, and i was telling them you know they could grab like a little quick little bissell uh steam cleaner and you know they, they could have had this clean probably like Two, two minutes, you know what I mean, with the seats and stuff. It doesn't take that long. You just plug it in and you press the button and you basically just shampoo real quick. And it's so hot down here in Florida, it wouldn't take much to dry it out during the summer like this. I mean, not summer, but, you know, during the daytime in a sense. But uh, I'll flip this camera around and show you how the dashboard looks. So y'all can see that right there. It shows the road. And basically there's two lines, like if you get too close to the left side or to the right side, I think it'll actually like, uh, you know, notify you that you're getting close on it. And uh, if there's cars on the side, I believe like when I drove my other Corolla that I rented that, um, yeah, see so it starts beeping, you know what I mean? Let you know you're getting off the road kind of thing. So that's a pretty neat little safety feature it has in there, you know, if you're driving on the highway. And um, this one just has a single climate control in a sense. Still got the, uh, I believe that's all touch screen. Yeah, because I was on the phone and you bring out the keypad and, you know, basically I just connected my phone to this, you know, Bluetooth, so it all works fine. And I use the, uh, I haven't used the map yet because I don't have the Toyota app, but I, I'm kind of liking Toyota, man. I think I'm, I may look at purchasing that Highlander. You know, we get things going, it'll be worthwhile on it. You know what I mean? Um, tells you that the passenger airbag's off. You know, that's understandable. And I like it because the parking brake, whenever you go to put this in park, it automatically sets the emergency brake, which is pretty cool. So, you know, that saves you from actually pushing this parking brake, you know, unless you just want to pull it up, I guess, and have it in neutral, but it automatically sets the parking where you go to park and it automatically takes it off when you go to, uh, you know, change it to draw, uh, reverse. So that's pretty cool. So that's always my thing. I'm always forgetting to turn off the, I mean, it, you know, disengage the parking. Um, show you right here. I'm trying to drive and they have the, I think that's a you know it's a 12 volt cigarette lighter and you have your usb in there so yeah, and it's got a little notch there so you can run your wires so that's pretty cool the highlander definitely has you know it's set up for a family this is just like you know for a person with you know it's going to drive maybe one kid still surprised no push button start come on toyota <laughs> when they're going to have that so this is the 2021 Corolla, I do like the front end. It reminds me of the Lexus, which makes sense because the Toyota Lexus. Lexus is just the more expensive version. It reminds me of the Lexus like luxury right there. Pretty cool style in the front. I do like that really. It's really nice. This is just a basic, uh, well, it's got hubcaps on there. Huh. 
this is the cheapo cheap, you know, being a Corolla. Um, I guess you could fold these in. Yeah, fold them in. Snow sunroof there. You know, just cloth seats. It, it's good enough, like I said, just to put a couple little kids if you had them. I wouldn't really want to put a lot in this vehicle. Let's see what a trunk looks like. Okay, you can still press the button to release the trunk, so that's nice. It does have plenty of space for luggage and stuff. So they did think about that with this Corolla. I would think the Camry just has a little bit more. Uh, I do like the styling. It reminds me of a Jetta a little bit too. I mean, it looks, it looks nice. You know what I mean? For the styling for 2021. And um, yeah, man. So it's a nice little car. I mean, look at a Toyota. 